It can be really annoying when you're using your favorite app and it suddenly stops and you're directed back to the home screen. This usually occurs when your Wi-Fi or cellular data is slow or unstable, causing apps to malfunction. Another reason for Android apps crashing can be a lack of storage space in your device. This can occur when you overload your device's internal memory with heavy apps. So here, let's first begin with a specific error on how to solve it. Number 1. Google Force Close A Google Force Closed error may appear on Galaxy devices due to an issue with Google's server. So what you can do here is open the Settings app, tap Apps, tap Google, tap Storage and tap Clear All Data. However, if it still persists, force stop the app by opening Settings, Apps, Google and tap then force stop. Now let's head for more general solutions here. Number 1. Update your system software. Open Settings, Software Update and then tap on Download and Install and follow the on-screen instructions. For optimizing network connection, switch off your mobile data or Wi-Fi router for about a few minutes. Turn off your device and restart it again. Switch on mobile data or turn on the router and connect to Wi-Fi. Try using another network connection if the app still crashes and does not run. Next, you can clear app data and cache. This can fix a lot of issues for you, honestly. So open your settings and tap apps. From the list of apps that appears, tap on the app that is causing the issue. Now go to storage, clear data or clear cache. Let's free up space on device storage now. To check the space, go to settings and apps. Tap on more options in the upper right corner dots. Sort by and go to size. Now you have checked in order to delete, select the app you want to uninstall and tap uninstall to free up the storage space. Next option you have is to reinstall the app. To uninstall apps on your device, you can go to settings and apps. Select the app you want to uninstall and tap on uninstall. Now go to the Google Play Store and install the app once again. And last option is to factory reset. Factory resetting your device should be your last resort because it deletes all your data and restores the device to the factory settings. But we strongly recommend that you back up all your important data before performing a factory reset. For now factory resetting, go to settings, tap on general management, tap on reset, and then factory data reset. So that's it for today guys. We hope that your apps on your Samsung device are now going to work. For more such interesting videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.